Upgrading your laptop's RAM is one of the easiest things to do, well, unless you're an Apple user. If you have a MacBook, this is not the video for you, you should be searching for how to buy genuinely good products. For the rest of us, it's pretty simple. You start by searching what's the maximum capacity your laptop can handle. Searching based on the laptop's model number instead of the name will be a bit more accurate. In case your laptop has multiple variants, it'll help you find the right one. I recommend getting two sticks of parallel memory, like for example, if you want to upgrade to 32GB, I recommend getting 16GB, two sticks, instead of a single 32GB memory. That'll effectively give you better bandwidth. You should also look up the operational frequency of your RAM or the clock speed. It's pretty easy, just load up task manager and go to performance. You'll find it under the memory section. See that? That's the clock speed. So when you're buying RAM sticks, it's better to get one that matches this frequency. I got this one from G-Skill. I've heard of their name. Try and get reputed brand names like Kingston, Corsair, G-Skill, Crucial, etc. I mean, it'll just be easier for the sake of reliability. Once you have the new RAM sticks, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. You swap your existing ones with these. So you open the laptop's back panel. You start by unscrewing everything. It's better to keep those screws organized separately so that you don't accidentally bump and drop them on the floor. I mean, once you drop a screw, it goes to the shadow realm. You'll never see it again. Now, opening the back panel is a little bit different on each laptop. In my case, you pop it from the back no and you'll have to apply some force because it'll be holding on to some clamps. So just work your way around it and you can remove it. You might see some dust on your fans. Oh my. So uh, as I was saying, I mean, you might see some dust in your fans. Mine is pretty clean as you can see. I mean, cleaning them is pretty easy. You, if you want, you can dismantle the fan assembly or you can just calmly and gently use a brush on them. Make sure you do it indoors on your table so that the dust flies everywhere and you keep breathing it all day. Highly recommended. It's great. Anyway, once the cleaning stuff is done, you can just find the RAM section. In my case, it's covered with this plate. Removing the installed RAM is pretty easy. You just push those tiny metal arms to the side and the RAM will pop up. And then install the new RAM by keeping the packaging like that and use magic. In case you don't know magic, this is how you place the RAM. Just align the pins with the socket and gently push it in. If it doesn't go in gently, just RAM it in, it'll be fine. Your RAM might also have a warranty card or some sort of a sticker in the packaging. Make sure you rub it all over the RAM area. I mean, how else would your PC know if your RAM is authentic or not? Okay, we installed the RAM and cleaned the fans. Let's put the panel back on. Now before you screw it in, make sure you didn't screw up by turning it on first and see if everything boots up. If the operating system boots up completely, then it should be okay. But still load up task manager and make sure all of that memory is being recognized. As you see here, it seems good. And yes, you'll notice the performance improvement in apps that need a lot of memory. In my case, the heaviest app I use is Premiere Pro. And previously, I couldn't smoothly play back three 4K 60fps clips on my timeline. Well, it looks like the GPU is the bottleneck here instead of the RAM. But as you can see now, after installing more RAM, it is consuming like 15 GB, which wouldn't be possible before obviously and yes the real-time playback is smoother so now for some reason i can put three of my 4k 60 fps bullshit side by side and play them i mean it'll make my editing a little bit smoother that's all i'm saying i was about to go for 64 gb like that's what my pc can take but eh, i decided 32 is good enough and i was right I mean, get what you need and don't overspend on stuff. 32 gigs is still plenty of RAM in 2024 and beyond. 